Hare Krishna. Today we will be speaking a little bit about the concept of Varnasram College. On many occasions, Srila Prabhupada referred and explained what is Varnasram College and why we need it, why we need to establish it within our society. This he emphasized and explained when he was uh, present with us and uh, he requested that in every city temple, in every rural community, that we have actually such an educational facility. Actually, if we look at the uh, Vedic tradition, <coughs> the basic educational system is Gurukula. So, should the Prophet explain how Gurukula especially is for the younger boys, whereas Varnasham College will be for the older boys. Traditionally, if one uh, lived within a Varnasham culture, then uh, Varnasham uh, college, so to speak, was uh, included within the concept of Gurukula. Uh, why Varnasham college is something that is so important for our devotees and our members? Well, to a large extent, because most of us uh, have not, the, uh, did not get the opportunity to actually go to Gurukula. Uh, Gurukula is that uh, educational <coughs> training that one receives at a young age to prepare one uh, for one's future life in different uh, varnas, mm, different occupation. So Varnashram College in many ways is meant to bring that awareness to the devotees in general it is meant to actually train individuals to uh, become <clears throat> teachers as well. That's one of the foremost uh, important uh, aspects to train uh, teachers. Uh, <clears throat> we are very much lacking and in need of such uh, teachers. So Varnashram College in many ways is to uh, introduce the Varnashram culture. Uh, we spoke about that the other day how Varnashram is actually uh, a lifestyle and a culture which uh, addresses both the material needs as well as the spiritual needs uh, within <coughs> society. Uh, how to meet in the most uh, simplified way our basic necessities of life uh, and how to, uh, by minimizing these necessities of life, how to increase and give the maximum time for actually concentrating on uh, self-realization. Uh, <clears throat> so, Jivasya Tattva Jigyasa. Mm. We hear from Srimad Bhagavatam how this human form of life is primarily meant actually for inquiring about the Absolute Truth. And therefore, Varnashrama College, uh, similar to Gurukula, uh, is uh, that opportunity that one can receive for understanding uh, the uh, very scientific social system that Krishna has created and uh, we see in the Vedic culture, in our Vedic literatures, how when there were qualified leaders, qualified kings, uh, they are called Rajarsi, not only uh, leaders with material uh, qualifications uh, as Raja or king, but Raja Rishi, uh, Rishi, those who are also very spiritually enlightened. Therefore, there's a tremendous need in present-day society. Otherwise, we have what is called Varna Sankara, uh, a society where uh, one cannot dif differentiate and where there's no proper, clear understanding of who should do what, what training one should receive, etc. So Varnasham College, Srila Prabhupada, he wanted that we establish this immediately. That was more than 40 years ago in all of our centers, both in the city temples as well as, as well as in our rural communities. The full-fledged Varnasham College can best be <clears throat> manifest actually in a rural community. Very difficult to train someone how to plow the land uh, in, um, in the streets of New York or in a, any big city around the world. So Varnasham College, the basics can be introduced actually in the city, city temples, and the full-fledged um, <clears throat> details of Varnasham College can be more easily um, <clears throat> uh, 
introduced and practiced actually in rural communities. So in this way, gradually people, uh, devotees from our cities can uh, be exposed to the whole philosophy uh, of uh, Varnashram uh, Dharma. And uh, we should understand it as uh, something very essential, very urgent uh, in many ways. Our whole Vedic uh, culture is based on, um, uh, emphasizes education. There's a saying actually, whereby uh, education is life and life is education. So Srila Prabhupada had these two uh, dimensions, uh, these two aspects of education, beginning with the younger uh, boys uh, who would go to Gurukula and then uh, the older boys who would uh, uh, <coughs> go uh, for Varnashram College. Uh, this is uh, both, we could say Varnashram College covers both the formal and non-formal aspect of education. Whereas Gurukula traditionally to a large extent would, would cover the formal aspect of, uh, of education. And uh, those who would not attend Gurukul, they would take um, uh, lessons uh, or they would learn uh, through association, through uh, apprenticeship. These two aspect, aspects actually we can find also in the Varnashrama College and um, uh, both the uh, theoretical as well as the practical aspect. Uh, this being the golden jubilee year of ISKCON's, uh, uh, ISKCON society, it is very appropriate to remind ourselves of this very, very important instruction given to us by the founder Acharya of our society, His Divine Grace, uh, Srila Prabhupada. Uh, there are many purports, many references, many discussions uh, in his conversations on this subject matter. And we urge everyone, all the devotees and the leaders especially, to um, <clears throat> uh, take this up uh, very seriously. Uh, this will help introduce, this is meant to actually uh, introduce the whole uh, aspect of um, uh, or dimension of what we call the uh, Varnashrama uh, Dharma or Varnashrama mission, which is very, very much needed within our ISKCON society. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.